I just invested $1,000 into the Installed Building Products Company, or IBP. And because the letter I is the ninth letter of the alphabet, that means we're up to about $9,000 total invested in our A to Z challenge portfolio. And this is real money. So if these stocks go down, that means I'm losing real money. IBP was incorporated in 2011, but they started with their first location in Columbus, Ohio in 1977. So today I wanna to go through this business with you and try to understand why it's not just a great business, but a great investment as well. So what installed building products does is primarily install insulation into homes. Over 60% of their sales are just insulation. One of the other things they do is they cross sell other business. So if you have like a garage door or something like that that needs to be installed or a closet or something, they can say, while we're here doing this insulation, would you also like us to do some of these other things? In the late 1990s, they switched from how the business was being run before, since 1977, to how it's being run today. And that is primarily acquisition based, which is usually a red flag for me because acquisitions are usually expensive and a lot of the benefits that you think are gonna be there don't actually materialize. But if you have a business like a Constellation Software or a Berkshire Hathaway, it can be a very powerful mechanism that you can wield. They scoop up all these local contractors that are just pretty much doing exactly what they're gonna be doing except without the economies of scale that they have. They pretty much buy them out and leave them alone. And it doesn't always have to be insulation. It can be these cross-selling platforms. So if you if you have a garage door company or if you have a, a closet installer company or a, or a door installing company, they can acquire them and then that sort of trickles through the network of things that can be cross-sold. So what is insulation? Insulation is, is pretty much everywhere. It basically makes your house like a, like a thermos. Whether or not you have coffee or iced tea, your thermos will keep it at temperature. So if you want your house hot, it keeps it hot. If you want your house cool, it keeps it cool. Right after I chose IBP for this episode, it came out that Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway has been investing in home builder companies. While IBP is not a home builder themselves, they are very reliant on the home builders, right? So they can't build the home themselves. That's not what they do. What usually happens is you have the insulation company and they primarily do that until one of these bumps in the market comes along and then they can sort of start to absorb the ability to cross sell. So what you see is the older acquisitions for insulation adapted a lot of these cross-selling abilities. You've got these home builders, which have this very capital intensive, very schedule dependent business that they're running. You know, these, these homes need to be built on time and under budget. And you look at this process and you see that there are points that are regulated by building codes and that further construction along that process cannot continue until these steps are completed. And then you look at, you take all of those and then you look at the ones that have the best margins, which is pretty much insulation because it's, it's like light and fluffy. It's, you know, it doesn't take a lot to ship. It doesn't take a lot to make. Like we've, we know how to do it. It works very well. It's good for the customer. It's good for the environment. It's pretty much required. You think of it that way and you realize, oh, this is just a great business. All right, we're going to go over the results, but I got to warn you, the last two weeks have not been pretty. Two weeks ago, we were up $467. Now we're up $17. The S&P is up $105, which means that we are officially behind in the race. If we had just invested in the S&P without doing all of this work, we would be doing about six times better than $17. But hopefully IBP will help that when we invest $1,000.77 at $150.54 a share into this insulation installer.